Woo, yo, 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 what's going on? It's the real Hall of Fame D line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Uh, man, I, I'm going to tell you, uh, somebody asked a quick question, and I'm going to give a quick answer to it. Uh, it was actually in the TBKC page. When they were talking about, is the dog supposed to have athleticism and all those good things? It, it, it's the breed. And, and I tell you, one of the things that always amazes me whenever this topic comes up is we start getting these weird bully answers, you know? Well, it's the difference between this stock and it's the difference between that stock. It's one standard. Look, let's just put that to rest. There is one standard. There's one way that this dog's supposed to be. The answer to the question is yes, these dogs are supposed to have some athleticism. No one said they're supposed to be a greyhound. No one said that they're supposed to run around in circles for 45 hours straight or anything like that. But these dogs should be able to run. They should be able to uh, breathe with their mouth closed. They should be able to take walks. They should be able to do basic things. There is no difference in um, that part of the standard. It, it is sad. The, the American bully world continuously over and over again makes up different things. Well, this is this kind of stock and it's that kind. No, it's only really one stock. And, and, and that is the true standard of what the American bully is supposed to be. This dog is not supposed to be fat. This dog is not supposed to be a dog that can't breathe, a dog that can't move, all these other things that y'all have going on. The nonsense that we saw at nationals where the dogs were all deformed and uh, a lot of bad backs and a lot of this and a lot of that. I know there were nice dogs there before y'all start that shit. There were some dogs there that looked pretty solid. But we have brought the level of the American Bully down so far because every time something is really wrong with the breed, we turn around and we make up a new excuse as to why, oh, it's different because of this. The, in the ring, in the show ring, the American Bully is supposed to present itself as a show dog but a dog with capabilities that is in the ring you know it, even in the ring this dog should have an athletic appearance and look like it's ready to do something athletic not just be a piece of shit dog that's in there fat and can't breathe and you say oh the reason that he looks like that and he's like this right now is because he's not a performance dog he's not one of those performance bullies and this that cut the shit look the dogs are supposed to be put together uh, well, no matter what their purpose is going to be. Of course, if you had a weight pool dog, he would, might have a little more muscle than your typical show dog. But, but uh, outside of that, what are we talking about here? Stop making up shit to justify why these dogs are out of shape, you know, in bad shape, can't breathe, all the other things that come along with it. Just stop it. At some point in time, we have to be held accountable for the nonsense that, you know, that is being done to the breed, you know, the, 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 always oh, this type, it's a breed stock, it's, it's, come on, man, either the dog is a show dog and a breedable quality dog, or it's not, the, you know, the, all of these excuses, ah, oh, this is breeding stock, so it can have a high rear, but you're going to breed the high rear out, man, just stop it, please, stop it. Do something the right way for once. Actually care about the breed and make sure that the breed goes forward in the proper uh, fashion to be a better breed. Stop making up things. That's all I can tell y'all. Just please, please, please stop making up shit because <sighs> tune into the morning show T tomorrow. It's, we're going to do a special edition. Uh, Monday morning, uh, morning show. We're going to talk about this some more. <laughs> I ain't even got it in me right now. Until next time, y'all, much love. Peace.